Good morning and welcome to this online service on this day of Pentecost. We're going to begin our time of worship with a poem from Wade and then we're going to have our opening hymn, Jesus Blood. Good morning, family of God, and happy Pentecost Sunday. The Master's voice. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and man in his image he formed with great worth. The heavens declare his glory, and the earth shouts his voice. I want you all to know me, for this I give you a choice. Day by day, night unto night, I want all languages to hear my speech. Jesus, the living word, God's perfect love, to all nations do I reach. Like a husband loving his wife, and the strong that run the race, my mercies are new every morning as my sun rises with grace. For my eyes are searching throughout the earth, looking for a loyal heart to show my strength and power and my new life to impart. For the law of the Lord is perfect. It will convert your soul through childlike faith and rejoicing. My spirit will make you whole. For the light shined into the darkness, but the darkness could not understand. For the true light will light everyone who will simply obey his command. So in these dark times, with great stress and fear, there is no need to obsess, but know that God is near. Don't go by what you feel. You must go by what is true, for he sent his word to heal and to deliver me and you. So church, stand still and see the Lord's salvation, for the gates of hell will not prevail if we continue in his revelation. So in the time of your need, come boldly into the most holy place, and there you'll find mercy and receive all sufficient grace. Just keep seeking God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, following him and his righteousness, and be willing to go any length. So if you're chained in confusion and not sure how to cope, it's time for a spiritual transfusion and to receive the promise of hope. You must listen very closely and then you will surely hear it, the kind and caring voice, the voice of the Holy Spirit. For one touch of the Master's hand and one word from the Master's voice will give you the victory stand. Just daily keep making the right choice. God bless you, church.
Now we're a church gathered from London, the rest of the UK and around the world and some of you guys have been able to help me out uh, with a little uh, video that we're going to show um, now to give expression to that diversity that we've got in our church family as we celebrate uh, the many nations that God has reached with the good news about Jesus. And then after that video, we'll have our clue from Fuzz and Panda, and then we'll have a time of worship together. Hi, I'm Maxwell. I'm from the Isle of Dogs and St. Luke's Mill is my church. My name is Elisa. I'm from London. Singwit is my church. My name is Elise. I'm from London. Singlet is my church. Hi, I'm Zoe and and I'm from and I'm from Isaac and St. Luke's. And St. Luke's is my church. My name is Michelle. I'm from the Isle of Dogs in East London and St. Luke's is my church. My name's Louis. I'm from the Isle of Dogs and St. Luke's is my church. My name's Danny. I'm from the Isle of Dogs and St. Luke's is my church. Hello, my name is Ben. I'm from Clapham, which is not on this map, and St. Luke's is my church. My name is Abby, I'm from Battersea, and St Luke's is my church. Well, good morning everybody. It's great to see you on this sunny Sunday morning. Hello from me and Panda. We hope you've had a good half-term week and have been able to be outside a little bit enjoying the sunshine. We are very excited this morning to look inside our box, aren't we, Panda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's got a feeling it's a bit heavy this morning. I don't know why he's got that feeling. Let's pick it up and try it, shall we? Okay, let's see. It's... Oh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's much heavier than usual. Okay, well, let's give it a shake and see. You ready? Listen to the sound and see what you think might be inside. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah, I agree. Panda says it's making like a clonky noise, kind of something chunky. Let's listen again, because whatever is inside this box is going to give us a clue for our true story from the Bible. So let's give it another shake and see if we can hear... Oh yeah, you're right, it's time. Let's take the lid off and see what's inside. Something clunky, maybe a little bit heavy. Should we have a look and see? Oh, mm-hmm, yes, it is an interesting one. I'll spin it around so it's a bit easier for Panda to reach inside and he's going to bring out, if he can manage, I'll just help me Panda because it's quite large, it's a huge magnifying glass. And that is our clue for our true story from the Bible today. Hi everybody, welcome to the Macmillan household. We are here to worship with you. We have some signs for our worship time and we have our two who are going to be helping us sing. Please sing nice and loud. We're singing about hope this morning.
There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare your living home. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen. Comes free, and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the
My name is Chris. I'm from Preston, England, and St. Luke's is my church. My name's James. I'm from Essex, and St. Luke's is my church. My name is Matthew. I'm from Blackpool, England. St. Luke's is my church. Hi, my name's Dave, and I'm from Hampshire, and St. Luke's is my church. My name's Mia, I'm from England, and St. Luke's is my church. My name is Jasmine, I'm from Blackpool, England, and St. Luke's is my church. My name's Josh, I'm from England, and St. Luke's is my church. Hello, I'm Lizzie, and I'm from County Antrim, and St. Luke's is my church. The reading for today is from John 3, verses 1 to 21. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, Verily, truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Verily truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear it sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. How can this be? Nicodemus asked. You are Israel's teacher, said Jesus. And do you not understand these things? Verily truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen. But still you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that they have done that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. Thus saith the Lord.
Hi, I'm Thomas. And I'm Sangeeta. And we are from Kerala. In India. And, and St. Luke's is our church. Hi, uh, my name is Robinus Budetta. I come from Ethiopia. And St. Luke's is my church. Hi, my name is Dina De Gudeta. I come from Holland. And St. Luke's is my church. My name is Angatu Balcha. I come from Ethiopia. St. Luke's is my church. My name's Luke. I'm from Ireland. And St. Luke's is my church. My name is Jo. I'm from New Zealand. And St. Luke's is my church. Hello, my name is Philippe. Hi, my name is Marcela. We are from Brazil. And St. Luke's is our church. Hola, my name is Daniela and I'm from two countries, Colombia and Spain. And St. Luke's is my church. My name is Lee. I'm from sunny South Africa, Johannesburg. And I love St. Luke's, which is my church. My name is Paola, this is Damien. I'm from Bolivia and my church is St. Luke's Church. My name is George Ulubenga Adejuma. I am a Nigerian. My church is St. Luke Church, Ali of Dock in London. Hi, I'm Alan. Hi, I'm Wen. We are from Taiwan. And St. Luke is our church. My name is Priscilla. I'm from Uganda and St. Luke's is my church. My yeah. name is Julia. And I'm half Polish, half Bolivian. And, and my church is St. Luke's Church. My name is Stella, I'm from Hong Kong, St. Luke's is my church. My name is Joyce, I'm from China, and St. Luke's is my church. Hello, lovely family. My name is Luz Adriana. I am from Colombia, Pereira. I am very glad to say that St. Luke's church is my, my family. Thank you. My name is Wade, and I was born in Paddington, London. But I grew up in the suburbs of Philadelphia, then Florida, and then Los Angeles. And I am a member of St. Luke's Church. God bless you. My name is Alex. My name is Hejin. We are from South Korea. St. Luke's is our church. I'm Jyoti from Australia. This is Sydney from London. And St. Luke's is our church. St. Luke's is our church. My name is Marek. My name is Sonia. We, we are from Czech Republic and St. Luke's is, is our church. church. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this time where we can come together as a church family um, in prayer together. We thank you that in spite of the uh, lockdown and the inability to meet uh, physically, you've kept the sense of family and church community so strong. Um, in St. Luke's. Sí, papá, también queremos pedirte por por el mundo, señor, especialmente por aquellos países que están sufriendo fuertemente ahora mismo con COVID-19. Te pedimos sabiduría para sus presidentes, sus políticos, señor, sus líderes, que sea tu sabiduría, señor, guiando todas sus decisiones, señor, y que lo más importante, señor, sea ayudar a aquellos que más lo necesitan, papá. Father God, we bring before you uh, the UK. Um, we pray that uh, that people would be acting selflessly um, as the lockdown measures start to relax, um, that people wouldn't be taking advantage of the, the new freedoms they have, Lord God, but they would continue to recognise that there are a lot of people that are still in, in real danger. Um, I pray that you bring this to, to people's attention, Lord God, that, um, that they'd be willing to put the needs of others above themselves. And also that... Um, that this time of COVID, Lord God, will be a, a time of reconciliation and unifying of the country as well. Um, after the uh, division of the last few years with the, the EU referendum vote, um, we pray that you would be bringing people together, Lord God, as a result of this crisis. Sí, papá, también te queremos pedir por la ciudad de Londres, señor. Al ser una, una ciudad tan grande, Señor, tan llena de diferentes nacionalidades, Señor, sabemos que hay muchas personas que se han quedado atrapadas aquí, Señor, sin poder volver a, a su lugar de origen, Padre Santo, y te ruego, Señor, por, por esas personas especialmente, Señor, para que no se sientan aisladas, Señor, sino que tú seas poniendo cristianos, Señor, o personas a su alrededor que puedan eh, hacerles sentir amadas, acompañadas, Señor, y que sea una oportunidad, Papá, para poder llevar tu palabra a esos corazones, Señor. We pray also um, for 
uh, St Luke's Lord God um, for the work of Food Bank for um, every member of St Luke's Lord God who's um, surrounded by neighbours and uh, people in the local area Lord God that you'd be um, making each of us aware of the people that are in our vicinity who are lonely who need um, human contact who need someone just to knock on their door to say hi um, to reach out Lord God I pray that you'd make us sensitive to the needs of the people that are around us um, particularly those that are that are feeling lonely or, or isolated mm -hmm. during this period Padre Santo te queremos pedir por los misioneros Señor um, te damos las gracias por sus vidas Señor gracias por ese corazón valiente ese corazón decidido Señor a vivir cada día de su vida Señor por ti gracias Señor porque a través de ellos eh, podemos experimentar y ver, Señor, que aún hay mucha necesidad de ti, Señor. Y te ruego, Señor, por, su sabiduría, por tu sabiduría en ellos, Padre Santo, ah, por tu protección, Señor, por tu guía, Padre Santo. Sé tú llevándolos a donde tú quieres llevarlos, Padre Santo. Sé tú sembrando, Señor, sé tú ah, tocando corazones a través de ellos, Padre Santo. Y sé tú, Señor, protegiéndolos, sobre todo en aquellos países en los que están siendo perseguidos, papá. Que ellos no sientan, papá, en ningún momento que tú los has dejado, que tú los has abandonado, Señor, sino que ellos sientan, papá, que tú estás caminando de su mano, Padre Santo, que tú los estás guiando, Señor. Lord God, we, we pray for during this time of Pentecost uh, to see a real outpouring of your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Um, we want to see... Uh, examples and hear testimonies of of your your power, Lord God, of your ability to transform people's lives. Um, we pray that uh, that every member of St Luke's, Lord God, will be filled up with your Holy Spirit this this time. Um, would be equipped to be uh, witnesses um, to your glory, uh, to our neighbours, to our family, to our friends, Lord God. Um, that any of us that are feeling sort of burnt out or tired, Lord God, that you would restore us, fill us up, recharge us so that we'd be having a fresh revelation of what it means to, to know Christ and what it means to be mm -hmm. reconciled with God. We thank you, Lord God, for your many, many blessings to us. We ask all these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome back. Panda has been enjoying having a little peep through this magnifying glass and he's been thinking about what we use magnifying glasses for. Yeah, and he says that one of the things we use them for is if we're looking for something. In fact, another word that we can use instead of looking for something is the word seek. A little bit like hide and seek if you hide and someone comes to find you. Well, today, our true story from the Bible was about a man who was seeking something. Ed just explained to us about all about a man called Nicodemus, who at the start of John's Gospel came to meet with Jesus in the dark. Now, we know that Nicodemus was a teacher. He was a very learned, clever man. And he knew lots about the Old Testament and about the Jewish writings. And he taught other people about God as well. But he came to meet Jesus because he was really seeking a relationship with God. And he was wondering, could Jesus be the one that could lead him into that relationship? Was Jesus really God? The great thing is, in the Old Testament, God promises in the book of Deuteronomy, seek and you will find. And Jesus says that too. He says, seek and you will find. If we're looking for God, God promises that we will find him. And so Nicodemus came to ask Jesus some questions and Jesus explained to Nicodemus that yes, Jesus was the son of God sent to rescue the world by dying on the cross. And at the end of that conversation, we don't know what Nicodemus decides, but he leaves. But a few chapters later on in John's gospel, we see Nicodemus again. And at this point, he's with all the other leaders, most of whom are really angry with Jesus and want to kill him. And Nicodemus defends him. He doesn't say, oh, he's innocent or I think he's God. But he does say, I think he needs a trial. We need to be fair to this man, Jesus. So he's not straight away saying, I found God and we've got to treat him properly. But he is saying, I want to defend this man a little bit. So we still don't know whether Nicodemus has decided that by finding Jesus... He's actually found God, whether he's seen God in the person of Jesus. But by the end of John's gospel, when Jesus dies on the cross and his body is taken off the cross, there are two people that help do that. One is a man called Joseph and the other 
is a man called Nicodemus, the same Nicodemus. So we see that Nicodemus has gone from someone who was seeking God, meeting Jesus in the dark, defending Jesus with the other Jewish leaders, to actually becoming a follower of Jesus. So that after Jesus died on the cross to forgive all our sins, Nicodemus was one of the ones who took his body and wrapped it ready to bury it. So he had gone from hiding in the dark to being a very public follower of Jesus. And so the wonderful promise that Jesus says and that um, the Old Testament says as well is that when we seek God, we will find him. And we don't need to use a magnifying glass to find God. Um, he's bigger than that. He wouldn't fit inside a magnifying glass anyway. But by reading the Bible and praying and speaking to other Christians and asking God to fill us with his Holy Spirit so that we can know him and understand him, we too, like Nicodemus, can be people that are looking for God and have that wonderful joy of finding him and knowing that he loves us and that he's with us every day. Now, we've had a couple of birthdays in our church family this week. One of them was Rajna. Happy birthday, Rajna, earlier this week. And also, Alex, you've turned seven this week. So happy birthday to you from me and Panda.
¿no? Let me encourage you to receive this blessing today. Now may the God of all hope fill you with his joy and his peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Take care and see you soon.